Hi again, I'm Ryan, your host for The Toast, and we're here to talk about Starman. Wait, what? We're not. What? But it said... Oh, I'm sorry. Midnight Special. That would explain the goggles. Now, Midnight Special is one of those under-the-radar movies that's hard to categorize. Solid cast, though. The story's about General Zod on the run with his super son away from the government and a cult of religious crazy nut jobs. Not much difference between the two. But he's on the run for good reason, because his kid is powerful. He is packed with light and energy. So the government thinks he's a weapon, because that's what the government always thinks in movies, and the cult thinks he's a messiah. Whatever he is, his dad is going to set him on the path to freedom in a field in Tennessee. Like I said, this movie does feel a bit like a remake. It follows the same steps as Starman, but instead of an alien, the kid is a... Ah, I'm not spoiling it for you. I do want to spoil it for you, but the movie is really about the journey. It's just a pity the journey is not that interesting. Everyone on this trip is just mopey as hell. I mean, understandably so, and, and at least there is some action to break it up. Surprisingly so, actually. I, I was quite surprised that a movie that I thought was pretty low budget, there are some quite nice action pieces that really snap you back in after a long, dreary car sequence. And some of the effects are just subtle, but they work really well. I'm a big fan of subtle effects to get your point across. I just think it's much more effective when you see something small for yourself and you're left to figure it out instead of just a barrage of CG to the face. So all in all, is it worth sitting through a subpar Starman to get some answers? Yeah, yeah, it's worth it if you like Tomorrowland or if you're a big fan of the Jetsons. Y you'll see if you watch it. I just like the way this movie does toy with the idea of how the unknown can and will be interpreted differently by different people. Some might think alien, some might think anomaly, some an affirmation of God. Belief is incredibly subjective, and what this movie goes to show is that when presented with a given proof, it can cause no end of conflict, especially within an ignorant race such as our own. In the end, I do like where this movie ended up. I like the ideas and how it was explained and presented by the child. I also really like the change and the debate that it will surely start in this movie's world. It really does make you think of, well, what if this event actually happened and what would it mean? How would we react in the real world instead of a movie world? And for that thought-provoking reason, I'm gonna give this a garlic toast. Sure, it's been done, but no matter how many times it's made, it will always have a strong flavor. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to see more from me, click, click, click away and I'll catch you next time. Cheers. Whenever I think of goggles, I always think of steampunk or people who are super into anime instead of actually swimming. I think it's time we take swim eyewear back.